to finish our leaves, what we're going to do is apply a coat of glaze. And what that's going to do is really create this beautiful glossy uh, finish. And it's also going to, as you can see, um, these are look quite dusty once we've um, added all the, um, the color to the surface. And so we want to uh, make sure that uh, we kind of get rid of that dusty look. And also, if you're going to be using your, um, your flowers on a um, cake or another surface, because we've got so many other um, because we've got so much dust on the leaves, uh, we just want to make sure that um, we contain it and it doesn't um, scatter all over anything. So the glaze is a really, really great way to do that. We're going to be using a confectioner's glaze. And confectioner's glaze is uh, basically a, um, it's a fruit grade um, product that is used uh, in, um, uh, to cover sugar show pieces to protect them from uh, humidity. It's also used um, occasionally in candy making. Um, there are some candies that have a um, glaze or glossy look on the outer surface. And um, so this is um, what the manufacturers use um, in order to um, create that look. Um, the glaze can be uh, found um, online and we're going to be um, including the, the links and the, the resources for that in the course materials so you can, you can find it. A couple of things about it that you want to consider are that it's, um, it's quite sticky, so we really want to um, be careful when we're using it. What I tend to um, do is um, I just buy little disposable um, paper cups and I pour the glaze in there. And, um, and then when I'm finished with it, I can just um, toss it. So I mean, you really don't want to be putting something really sticky in any of um, you know, your favorite glass um, little bowls. I also buy disposable brushes. Um, to use when I'm making my leaves and glazing them. So these are just, uh, us these usually come in a packet of about 30 that I buy at the craft store. They're very inexpensive. And um, usually when I'm making leaves, I make quite a few at the same time, and then I glaze them all at the same time. And it's the same thing, where because the glaze um, can really ruin a brush and make it very sticky, I just find it's um, much easier to just use a, a brush that I can throw away once I'm finished. So what we're gonna do is, just take a little bit of this glaze. And first, let's do our little filler flower leaves. Trick with the glaze is to use a very light coat. One, that's going to help it dry very quickly. Um, and two, we really don't want a lot of um, dripping going on because that may actually cause um, streaks in the dusting that you've um, previously done. So my trick for this is really just using a little bit on the brush. And instead of painting, um, I just use a dabbing motion. And what I find is that this really gives it a nice thin coat and then I don't get any streak marks in um, the dust. And all I'm going to do is just dab it over the entire surface area of the leaf. And you can see how it's becoming nice and glossy. You can also do multiple coats of this if you wish. Once the first coat dries, if you want even more gloss, um, then you could um, add a second coat. This glaze is also really great um, if you're making little gum paste berries, um, like raspberries or blackberries or snowberries. Um, those also have a really pretty um, shiny look to them. And so this is a really great um, finishing uh, technique for them as well. Mm -hmm.